The preferred method for taking periapicals is the paralleling technique, but sometimes, due to anatomical constraints of or patient discomfort, we have to switch to the bisecting angle technique. In the paralleling technique, the receptor is positioned parallel to the long axis of the tooth, and the beam indicating device is then angled so that the central rays hit both the long axis of the tooth and the receptor at a right angle. In order for this technique to work, the image receptor is placed quite a distance from the actual tooth. In the bisecting angle technique, the image receptor is held right close up to either the lingual or the palatal surface of the tooth of interest. The beam indicating device is then directed at an angle to an imaginary bisector which divides the angle between the long axis of the tooth and the receptor into two equal portions. Here is the snap array extra bisecting angle holder and this is for use with either PSP plates or foam. Here is the snap array DS bisecting angle holder which is used with direct sensors. You can see that both of the film holders have soft areas where they actually touch the receptor. This is important because you don't want to have sharp areas here that may damage the sensor or the plate. Most patients tolerate anterior periapicals being taken with the XCP holder, i.e. the paralleling technique, very well. However, when a patient presents with a shallow floor of the mouth or palate, palatal tori or mandibular tori or very broken down teeth, the bisecting angle technique can be useful. Use a size 1 direct sensor or plate. Place the sensor in the holder like this. Place the plate in the holder like this. I'd recommend using a size 1 plate or a size 1 sensor. For posterior periapicals with the bisecting angle technique, we use a size 1 receptor for children and a size 2 receptor for adults. Put the plate or film in the snap array holder like this, gripping the very outermost edge of the plate. Always put either the dot in the film or the dot on the plate in the jaws of the holder. Ensure that the widest portion of the bite block will be against the patient's cheek when it is placed in the mouth. Using a direct sensor holder is very similar to the plate. Again, put the sensor in the holder so that you're just gripping the outer edge of the sensor. Always do this over a surface in case you inadvertently drop the sensor.